This is Local 44 News at 1030. We're back this half hour with Education Matters. 40% of child care centers nationwide will close permanently without financial help. That's according to a July survey by the National Association for the Education of Young Children. Tonight, Local 44's Mike Coey looks at the picture in New York's North Country. There are more than four times as many kids 12 and under in Clinton, Essex and Franklin counties as there are slots for them in regulated child care programs. That's according to the Child Care Coordination Council of the North Country. And that was part of a report from last November, so the problem predates COVID. Breaking even in this field is a very good year. You have to keep your costs as low as possible and meanwhile you cannot raise your tuition more than a half to 1% annually to accommodate the needs of families because care is very unaffordable for many. Rose Blanchard of the Lill School of the Adirondacks in Saranac Lake says COVID has added to the pre-existing problem. They're operating at not much more than half capacity, leading to a substantial loss of revenue while requirements of care continue to rise, which Blanchard says they should. However, the pay and incentive has not, they have not increased alongside that. So we now have certified teachers that must really love what they're doing because they need to work for barely more than minimum wage. The Child Care Coordinating Council of the North Country says many other providers are in the same boat. Our programs are, are really suffering and they might not be able to sustain operations if we aren't able to invest in this field. Sarah Allen Taylor says many parents simply can't work outside the home without it. While it's great to say that we're supportive, we really need the action to be invested behind those words to, to get this funding into the hands of programs and um, to parents so that we can get the economy really back full steam the way it should be. They want Federal CARES Act stimulus money to go directly to child care providers. They're also asking for one and a half million dollars from the New York state budget to help working families in Clinton, Essex and Franklin counties afford child care. Mike Hoey, Local 44 News. Mike, thank you. Students from Christ the